Hi everyone, welcome to JustFeg Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information on things happening around the world and you are in the right place. Please click the red subscribe button and also press the bell icon next to it so you can be notified for an update on any published news. Kabar sponsoring corruption allegations against me. Yemi Oshibajo cries out. Yemi Oshibajo, the vice president of Nigeria, has on Thursday, October 3rd, 2019, reportedly unveiled that some cabas are behind several allegations springing up against him. The now reports that this was revealed by the founder and presiding bishop of the Sword of the Spirit Ministry in Ibadan, Oyo State, Wale Oke. Wale Oke also debunked claims that Oshibajo is corrupt and involved in the 90 billion naira fund allegedly released for the whole Progressive Congress APC presidential campaign. The popular cleric made the disclosure while receiving the Nigerian Association of Women Journalists, led by Jadesola Ajibola, at his church in the Agode area of Ibadan. Oke okay, said the VP did not only deny involving himself in any sleaze, but used the opportunity to inform us that some cabas were behind the allegations. The VP is always reaching out to Christian leaders on the need to support Buhari. Oshibajo is loyal to her fault. So, those plotting is down for true orchestrated campaigns should fear God. This man is not corrupt. He has been a friend for many years. He had it. The now recalls that Oshibajo had threatened to take legal action against those peddling lies and rumors about him. Timmy Frank is one of them. So guys, thanks to all my viewers today. So according to Yemi Oshibajo, he voiced out and he said that people are making rumors against him. He said that people are sponsoring corruption allegations against him. We don't know how true is it. And in a political term, they call it kabas. Then the National Association of Nigeria, they are in support of him. They said he's a faithful man. They said he's always in support of uh, Buhari. And also people actually made a comment saying that one, somebody said the vice president should not resign. That is the plan of the enemy, that they want him frustrated so that they can advance in their evil work. The now said, Hence, one among the majority, I think that this will open the eyes of Christians in Nigeria to come in to unity by praying continually for him and also bringing up other Christians by Mr. Vice President into politics. The now said, By doing so, politics will also help matters in such a circumstances. That let there be more believers in politics. Running away from the politics give those enemies upper hands to rule devils. So my question is this. Does it mean that the people that are in the government right now are they devil? Does it mean that they are not Christians? Does it mean that the present, present politicians, does it mean that they are not Christians? And more or so, this person was saying that uh, policy, uh, the Christians should join the, the politics, right? What gives us assurance that by the time we have like a solid Christian joining politics, do you think those Christians will not embezzle money? Do you think those Christians will not mess up at the end of the day? And also, I don't think Yemi Oshibajo should resign. Why is he going to resign? It doesn't have any reason for him to resign, except if Yemi Oshibajo has done something underneath that people does not understand. And uh, some people made a comment and they said, why don't you resign and have your peace and respect if not these cabars are ready to bring you down at any cost? Respect God's oil and step down so that these people will not rubbish you. I'm not in support of that. I feel like 
Yemi Oshibadu should not resign from this post. And people also made a comment. People said that you have been holding briefs for the same Kaba, not knowing that at a time like this will come. It will surely come for you to also fall prey. So in that aspect, we don't know what is behind that. We don't know what Yemi Oshibajo has done. We don't know maybe Yemi Oshibajo is hiding under the under Christianity. Is we don't know maybe he's hiding being a pastor. So we don't know what he has be, be what is between Kabaz, the Kabaz and Yemi Oshibajo. That is what we don't know. And uh, people actually people people said a lot of things. They said he's a fake pastor. That thank God that the Kabas are even disturbing him right now. That was what some people said. Some people even said that brother Oshibajo, I think it is done on you. Watch and see how northerners will teach you politics. And also we hear Kabas, Kabas, don't they have names? They don't have face, or are they bigger than Nigerian? Can they be brought to justice? So we are tired of all these uh, names that are, these are our P APC whatever. In fact, sometimes when when I hear APC, they make me laugh. They called so many names. So guys, our people also made a comment and they said the hunter becomes the hunted. That when he was running his mouth about Jonathan being corrupt, he doesn't know then. They now said the Kabaz will soon do more than this to him. That it was his mouth that led him to this. So, just as what I said earlier, people are really like, some people will say positive things about him, while some people will say negative things about him. So guys, a lot of people are on the call and they are pressurizing Oshibajo, uh, saying rumors about him. And of course, Oshibajo will not want to resign because this is not his first time experiencing this. Many things has already popped up before now. And uh, also, as a popular figure, we all know that leaders like that must experience challenges, things like that. And... Uh, most of our politicians, of course, we know that they love powers. I don't know about politicians outside Nigeria, but I'm very sure about our home politicians. They love powers. They don't mind going to an extra length to get what they need to gain that power. So I think Oshibajo will not want to resign. And also, I think that uh, Oshibajo will, will, is better for him to just overlook whatever that is happening right now and also a lot of people said many things about Yemi Oshibajo and uh, they called him names they said he was the one that insulted good luck Jonathan almost every day then I said God will punish the vice president for that and I feel that people don't like some people like Yemi Oshibajo why some people don't like Yemi Oshibajo Probably they believe that Yemi Oshibajo is a fake pastor. Because you can imagine, for someone to be a pastor and a vice president, I don't see the correlation between that. For someone to be a pastor and he's still a pastor, ah, I don't know, maybe the, the man will still be standing as a pastor. I don't think so. I don't think so because... As far as our Nigerian leaders is concerned, hmm, you want to be a pastor and you are a vice president of the state. Trust me, the person will backslide. So guys, what do you think about this news? Kindly drop your comments below, click on the subscription button and also press the bell icon to get updated anytime I upload news.